Oh, let you flicker. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're checking out Estacao Libertad. At least I believe that's how you pronounce it, because this is a game that's in uh, oops, another language. I'm not going to try to guess what language that is, uh, but it, they I was actually really interested by it because it looks it looks gorgeous, like straight up fantastic. But they recently, by recently I mean last week, added an update where they, they included English. So. We hopefully can see a bit more. Next up, Liberty Station. Ooh. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Me? Is that me making that noise? When I crouched. Okay, never mind. Guess I wasn't. Yeah, I mean, this game looks amazing. For It was made in 24 hours, which is impressive in its own right. I'll prepare for ma Mama. Oh, they were watching my Silver Chains gameplay, too, I see. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it started playing after this uh, came out. But Silver Chains is a great game if you haven't checked out that series. I was very boring. Every single day I ate the same food. Wore the same clothes. I played the same games every day. Are you me? I was this kind of person. I guess I just keep walking the train? Also, apologies, but my voice, I know it's a little crackly and probably way more bassy than normal. I'm going to try to edit that as best I can, but, um, yeah, I've been sick for like the past few days. Hello. How you doing? Uh, moving somewhere new? Need a storage operation? Option? Oh, cool. $49.99 for a storage area? For a single family one? That's, that's the deal? I don't know. I don't buy storage things. Some might say 3,000 text, or 30,000 text a month is crazy. We like crazy. That, that does seem a little crazy, but then again, if you factor in everything, like Discord servers, and Twitter, and that, maybe it's not that bad. Transit map. Oh, there you go. We are going places. Oh, can't open that. Oh, that's me clicking. That's the sound of me clicking that does that. Oh, can't open that door. Alright, well, I guess we're going to try out this door that's slammed in front of us. Nope, never mind that. Um, adventure ready. Because she's wearing warm clothes or something? I don't know. Is there something here that tells me? Oh, yeah, it is actually because it's literally because of her clothing. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a weird. Chernobyl! Ah! It's a good television series. Actually, I watched that, uh, the HBO series and I thought that it was a fantastic. Uh, what do I do? I thought that. Chernobyl was uh, fantastic. It really showed a lot about the, not only the uh, the accident itself, but also the town. I I'll prepare for something. Is that it's the only thing I can really interact with? It looks like. Oh, okay. I can, I can call for assistance. That's good. I feel like assistance is not coming. Yet. I have no flashlight. I don't think that's dark anyway. I just like sit down and wait patiently. Nope, just gonna try all the doors. Press to talk. I'm, I'm pressing and I'm talking. I'll put the emergency exit. Oh! Oh, I picked something up. Okay, I was actually just trying to find an emergency exit. But alright, yeah, I'll do that. Hey, look at that. I got this open now. All right, so keep in point, keep in mind, if we're locked in an area, look around for items. I wasn't really expecting items to pop up like that. I figured this is more of like a walking simulator. But I guess they just have their own things to collect anyway. Just keep calling for assistance. Keep on ringing that bell. This looks so good. I made it in 24 hours. That's that's the impressive part. Like. Developers that do game jams always impress me because to be able to crank out a game like that that's playable, one, playable, if I tried it, it'd be a mess of Earth Patrols and bugginess. But two, to be able to have, like, a lot of the games I've played for game jam games are good. Which is crazy. Okay. Am I supposed to do anything right now or just keep looping? I feel like we're supposed to just keep looping. Guess, no, not yet. It's like a nice sheen on those pole, on the pole. It's even reflecting like the orange there. That's so cool. 
I'm a sucker for game design. And especially graphics and details like that. Some little things that get that broke me in. There's oh, that was me. I thought that it controlled my mouse for a second. Anything on like the ads that are changing? No. Oh, fizz. My favorite drink. I've never had it before. I don't know if it's real or not. Invest big, dream bigger. Can I go to this side? This is like really rick. You know, this is a long train. Maybe it's like the train just runs the entire length and it just stops and starts occasionally. And you just walk to whatever, uh, whatever exit you're looking to get to. I feel like that'd be a really ineffective thing and also cause problems with people who, uh, can't walk. Oh, well, like the elderly. I was gonna say, wheelchairs could probably roll around here, but it would be pretty big. That's why we got these nice handicap spots for them. Is there? Am I supposed to be doing something maybe? What if I go backwards? What if I go backwards? And then you're ready. Oh, what does this say? Live free, spend free. I don't think I read that one yet. Oh, 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 something's happening. The phone's ringing. Hello? Prank call? Uh, is there a phone somewhere? It sounds like there's a phone. Going from here. I'm like really bad at spatial awareness and, and stuff like this. It's gotta be, it sounds like it's coming from here. Maybe keep going? Yeah, I think I'll keep going. It's getting louder, that's for sure. I feel like we're on the right track. Well, where's this phone at? Is it here? What the hell? Where is that coming from? It's coming from like over here. Oh, there it is. I found it. Don't know what that says. Hello? Yes? No, this is Patrick. Oh, shut up anyway. Okay. Well, oh, oh, got some, got some tr good old train turbulence right here. Oh. Okay. What the hell? Oh. One day I died in an accident. A very stupid way to die. I'm not complaining. I would die of boredom if it wasn't for the accident. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, oh, I had a flashlight for a second. There you go. Have the flashlight. I got the flashlight back. It sounds like wolves are in the, in the distance. Okay, that sounded like it was coming from behind me. Um. Alright, I'm gonna keep walking forward. Oh, the background noise is creepy. Oh, look, there's a good buddy, Abraham Lincoln. How you doing, Mr. President? Can I see this better now? No, not really. Okay. Oh, let you flicker in. <laughs> that came out of left field. I think that just cured my sickness. But guess what? I'm coming back. What, am I going to fight the monster now? Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. All right. Well, oh, well, actually, I just now realized it was free marketplace assets. So I guess the design was more someone else's, but I like this a lot. Actually, this is a uh, really it was really creepy, especially once the light went out. I feel like it was a lot of also just needlessly looping. And the story was kind of the typical like I died and here are my last moments kind of thing. We've seen that a bunch of times before. But, yeah, for 24 hours, eh, not bad. I mean, you use a lot of stock assets, it seems, or a lot of free marketplace assets. So I can't really comment now on the design, seeing as I didn't read that before. But the actual 
gameplay seemed tense. I like that in games. So if you guys all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And make sure you're subscribed to get updates for this new content or go live while live streaming. And I hope to be better in the next video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.